okay guys welcome back and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to use push state anchor so basically the first thing that you have to do for using push state anchor so as to remove this hashtag from this url bar out here is that you have to include you have to first include this into the elements.html file so you, so you have to just give this an import tag and the href part would be a bar components and a push state anchor and i have actually shown you how to install push state anchor in the earlier tutorials just at the starting of app router so if you haven't seen that you can see that and uh, basically you will know how to install the push state router okay so basically it, it's nothing much just a bar mm, bar install so once you have ins installed the pu push state uh, router out here push state anchor all you have to do is that you have to go into the index.html file and for this anchor tag i'll just give this a is push state anchor okay and basically you have to just copy paste and do this for everything okay so once you have just done the whole copy pasting stuff you have to do one more thing is, you, is that you have to go into the app router and just give this a mode of like push state okay so let's see whether this thing works or not so i'll just go ahead and remove everything from here okay so everything is working now if i just click on different links out here Okay, so one thing more that we'll have to do is that we have to just remove this hashtag from the href file. Okay, so once you have just completed doing that, just reformat the code out here, and we'll see now what happens. Okay, so if I just click on different links out here, you can see that the hashtag is actually not present and the routing is still working. So I just allowed this thing to reload all over again. Okay. I am clicking on different links out here and you can see that routing is uh, actually working fine and even though routing is working we don't have this hashtag thing out here but the disadvantage is that if I just go ahead and put the URL directly out here and just uh, press the return key or enter key you can see that cannot get path slash path slash two so basically this also has the problem or uh, that the page.js was facing and you actually cannot be doing this without your own server so if in case you have a server you can just do it like if uh, that in case anything like this error occurs you can just push a uh, push the index.html file into the front page so that will actually just do the error handling part of for this thing and then it will work fine so basically if you're just not using a server yourself you you may you may consider just not using the push state anchor at all so I'll just remove this whole thing from here and the my route i'll just remove the this mode from push state to just simple app router okay okay guys so now you have learned how to use push state anchor also and basically we are actually done with app router as a, uh, as a whole and all I have to show you now is that how app router is very efficient in terms of data saving. So in the next tutorial guys, I will show you that. So keep subscribing to the channel guys and like the videos if you like them, dislike the videos if you dislike them and please comment to the channel because we are listening and thank you.